How much does a wristwatch cost? Welcome. Exceptional Timing is here to help you choose the perfect watch for you. When you go shopping for things, it's always a good idea to have an idea of how much you're going to have to spend even before you go to the store. For example, you know if you're going on a total restock grocery run, you're probably going to be spending at least 100 bucks or more. But what about wristwatches? Wristwatches can range in price from just a few dollars to thousands of dollars. There's no specific answer to how much a wristwatch costs because the amount varies so widely. At the end of the day, it's more important to know what you are looking for and your budget. That doesn't mean you can't get a general idea of what it will cost, however. Having a range you're willing to spend for a watch then looking at your essential features will give you a much better breakdown. In this article, the many factors involved in buying a wristwatch in today's age will be explored, as well as the average cost based on popular brands. Average cost of rich wa wristwatches by brand. Although there's no single answer to how much a wristwatch costs, we can take a look at the average cost of wristwatches by the brand or manufacturer. Keep in mind, this is not an exhaustive list or a comment on quality or features. It's simply a rundown of some of the most popular watchmakers. Michael Kors. A designer fashion brand, Michael Kors wristwatches offer classic designs in different categories such as formal and sporty. The average price is under $500. Hamilton. Offering unique designs that are immediately recognizable, Hamilton has manual, auto, pilot, movie, and other styles from which to choose. The average price is $500 to $3,000. Seiko, a Japanese prestige brand known for having some of the best watches for the best prices. I actually own a couple of Seikos. Average price, under $700. Casio. A modern budget watchmaker famous for functional watches in vintage, classic, and sporty designs. The average price is under $300. Rolex, the, pre the premier luxury brand. Rolex offers customizable options and a large collection of classic pieces that are, best, that are the best known in the business. The average price for a Rolex is over $10,000. Wristwatches in the world of smartphones. Many people believe that wristwatches are a thing of the past. In a world dominated by modern technology, in particular smartphones, having a timepiece isn't nearly as critical as it once was. Many kids now don't even know how to read a clock because digital timekeeping has become the norm. Here are other reasons for buying a watch, however. Maintaining a certain aesthetic, building on a personal sense of style, timekeeping without bringing a smart device engaging in minimalism, stepping back from technology. This is the reason I started buying watches. Professional tasks such as nursing, where having a second counting watch is necessary. Additional features, for example, fitness trackers, simple preference. It could potentially be an investment. Whatever the individual reasons for wanting a wristwatch, don't let having a smartphone that keeps the time hold you back. Plenty of consumers still love the look and feel of having a beautiful piece at their wrist. Some even go further and choose a pocket watch. After all, why not? Why people buy expensive watches. Investopedia has an interesting article about why people choose to buy expensive watches when it can create such a heavy financial burden. According to their theory, it is largely a misunderstanding of the quality of luxury watches, believing that they are better due to their price tag. They also believed there was an ego component in the mix. Psychology Today went a little deeper, exploring the thought process behind luxury goods in general. Based on a paper by the University of British Columbia, researchers Carl Aquino and Jessica Tracy, they believe the unnecessary purchasing of luxury goods is actually due to pride. Pride causes two main behaviors associated with the consumption of luxury goods, they claim. One is authentic pride, which creates a sense of accomplishment in owning an expensive item. The second is hubristic pride, or the feeling of being superior for that purchase. These factors add up to a sense of status, which can be a huge motivator for many consumers. Does that mean you're a bad person if you want an expensive wristwatch? Of course not, but the reasoning behind it probably isn't associated with real quality since that quality could be an illusion. A bigger price tag doesn't immediately mean a better product. So, does that mean a lower price tag does? Is a cheap wristwatch a bad wristwatch? A cheap wristwatch is not necessarily good or bad. Remember that what constitutes cheap is subjective. That could mean a $500 timepiece or a 99 cent plastic watch. It depends on who you ask. You can buy a cheap watch that is great quality and vice versa. 
Furthermore, the quality is more about the manufacturer and their practices while building the watch. Other factors may dictate what makes a watch worth it, such as wristwatches that act as an investment as the price index may change. Signs that you have a cheap watch in terms of quality include an unknown movement. Most watchmakers will happily tell you what quartz or other movement is powering your watch. If they don't, it's a red flag. An inconsistent second hand. Your watch should be ticking every second, close enough that you know when it needs to be calibrated. A generic or boring face design. All well-made watches have a unique face design that sets them apart at least a little from other brands. It doesn't have to be fancy, but it should be somewhat recognizable. A low quality band. It is pretty easy to spot a poor quality band. It will feel flimsy or like it might snap when you manipulate it. Leather bands could be peeling at the corners or show excessive cracking. Mineral glass or plastic faces. Watches should be built to withstand scratching, chips, and shattering, as they are in a place where it can be easy to cause damage. An accidental bump or a car door on a car door or table can spell the end for a watch face that is made of plastic or mineral glass. If you can avoid the above signs or of a bad watch, you'll probably be getting a high quality piece without the outrageous cost. What you spend will be whatever you are comfortable with, whether it is in the hundreds or the thousands. Final thoughts. There are plenty of reasons to have a wristwatch. Because of the varied styles, quality and brands available, you can find a piece that is within any budget. More money doesn't necessarily equal a better product. It comes down to what you feel comfortable spending. Please like and subscribe on YouTube to ensure that you can find our other videos and explore further articles at exceptionaltiming.com.